So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about some affordable hidden gems. These formulas in particular really, really speak to me, and I think that they deserve more attention. If you're familiar with my channel, then you probably know that I, I love all makeup. I love luxury makeup. I love affordable makeup. For me, it's about finding beautiful formulas that perform well. So these are not affordable makeup products that I like because they are affordable. That's certainly a good thing about them, but I like them for the formulas themselves. So the first item I want to mention is this product from Flower Beauty. I have talked about this before on my channel, but it is the Petal Pout Lip Mask. This is the shade Sangria. I do have it on my lips today. I added a little bit of a lip liner just because on camera it wasn't giving me enough, but I have to tell you that as as we transition into fall and into winter, I look for really beautiful, rich lip formulas, really easy lip items that will actually help my lips out because I have chronically dry lips basically all year round. I also kind of like pick at my lips. I don't know if anyone can relate to that. Like when I get nervous, I never really realized it until I got older, but really, really like lip products that I feel actually nourish my lips and look flattering and look good. So this lip mask, I believe to be just a perfect combination of just a beautiful translucent, juicy color with a formula that feels ultra plush and super comfortable. This to me is kind of like a liquid lip balm product. Ultra smooth on the lips, but it doesn't feel like it's slipping around. And I think what makes this so pretty too is that this shade in particular is just such a soft, kind of berry tone. It's not a really overwhelming berry because this is more of a sheer pigment kind of product, but it just adds that beautiful flush. There are a lot of different colors to choose from. I actually really also like the applicator on here. Actually, when you twist it up, it kind of looks like like Play-Doh. It's not a Play-Doh consistency at all, but do you guys ever play with those toys like that would mold Play-Doh and like make it into spaghetti and stuff? That's what it reminds me of, but Anyway, it also smells absolutely, absolutely divine. It's like the most yummy, fruity, like fruit roll-up kind of smell that's not overpowering. I just love it. I also really love the shine that it gives my lips. And I do think that with so many different sheer lip products on the market, I feel like not enough people are talking about this one. The texture is so beautiful and so easy. And again, it actually helps my lips out. It's not just a lip product that's going to look pretty. It's actually going to help save my lips a little bit. Next, this is the palette that I have used on my eyes today. So this is the Revlon So Fierce Prismatic Palette. I know that they have a bunch of different palettes. I was walking around Ulta one day and as one does, I feel like sometimes I go into Ulta and I'm just like, what else can I buy? I just like to kind of check out the new releases. And this was one that caught my eye because the tones are so different for an affordable palette. It really felt to me like, I don't know, like a quad I would see from like Pat McGrath or something. So I was interested in seeing how the formula was. And actually this is more of like, a soft baked formula, so it's not highly, highly pigmented, but I really believe like prismatic palette, I think is a really good way to describe this. And I think that the tones in here are so, so unique. This is the Slight Flex palette. And actually, a few of you commented back to me when I used this in a recent video and said that you also really liked them. But anyway, I'll show you the look that I did today. The reason I really love these is that even though they're more sheer, they just have a beautiful appearance on the lids. It's not chalky looking. The palette as a whole really works well together. I love these two shades over here. So this kind of brown shade has a gorgeous rose gold um, shimmer throughout that on the lids just has such a beautiful like 
soft wet look it's not like a really really wet metallic look whatsoever but it's just very soft but i think what really stands out to me in this palette is this shade up here so this shade is more of um a duochrome but not duochrome in um, an unflattering way. I don't know, sometimes for me duochromes can be too much. It's like the shift is too stark for me to want to wear like on an everyday basis. But this one, it's a beautiful soft pink with just a touch of a blue shift to it that, that you can even see on my eyes. It just adds a dimension to the product rather than like an intense duochrome like look but it does however give you just again that like soft wet look it kind of reminds me of the munda shadows in a way like the way they reflect back and look a little bit wet that is a look that i really love i actually have an entire wet looking eyeshadow video coming very very soon i'm just waiting on one more product that i wanted to test out but anyway i just absolutely adore this and even this shade this more teal shade it's what i have on my lower lash line I actually really, really like it. It does give me a little bit of fallout, but it blends really easily and evenly. All of the textures work really well together. If you're a fan of more of a wet looking eyeshadow, but you like more baked formulas, I highly suggest this one. If you guys have one of these, is there another palette that I should check out, like another iteration, because this one is definitely one that I think more people should talk about. So this is the cheek product that I'm wearing today. This is the Undone Beauty Lip to Cheek Palette. Now, I do know that like Undone Beauty is getting a little bit more attention, but I really still think that this is one of the most underrated, affordable cream blushes out there period. So this is the shade Rosewood. The reason why I have really, really fallen in love with this formula is that they have been able to create such a juicy, beautiful looking cream blush that is just so perfectly balanced in the pigmentation, in the texture of the product. So you see there's three lines in here. You can get a variety of different pigmentations depending on what section you put your finger into. Honestly, I just kind of swirl it around and use it like that. But I do think that that's interesting and it makes it a little bit more intuitive for someone that is not sure what kind of pigmentation they want to go for or they're just getting into cream products. Like I was saying before with this texture, it's incredibly creamy. It loves to melt onto the finger, but when you apply it onto the skin, it melts down into the skin and really adheres well. With some cream blushes, they just don't like to stick to the skin and it ends up kind of forming a layer of blush and then your skin under it and it just never quite meshes well together. And this one does such a beautiful job of almost looking like a juicy kind of stain on the skin, but it's still more natural looking. It's not flat. This shade in particular, I'm not sure if the other shades are different, but, but this shade doesn't have a really um, heavy white base to it, which I actually really, really enjoy because I also think that with some cream blushes, they're just, there's too much white base to them and it ends up looking kind of milky on the skin, thus kind of looking a little bit more obvious on my skin. I just love how this has a little bit more of that translucence. It just is a really beautiful kind of juicy look. It's just kind of like a fruit punch kind of cheek product. Does that make any sense? I just really, really enjoy the juicy look that it gives my cheeks without being too dewy. I love that it sits really closely on the skin, it adheres well, and it also doesn't mess with the makeup that you have under it. There are literally, you know, really, really expensive luxury cream blush formulas that do do that. So I think that this one is certainly one that I would definitely recommend. If you have been wondering about Undone Beauty, um, this product I think is stunning. Okay, another underrated product that I know a lot of you are probably slightly sick of hearing me talk about. I get messages all the time though about you guys saying like, thank you so much. I absolutely love this product. I feel like I couldn't do this video without talking about this. So this is the Ulta Matte Cream Eyeshadow. These are some of the best cream 
matte shadows on the market period. Honestly, I would probably say that they are the best in my opinion. So I absolutely love them because they have a beautiful liquid cream kind of texture. They have a nice moussiness to them that makes them ultra, ultra blendable. There's no skipping on the eyelids, which some more long wear formulas tend to kind of skip. They give you a little bit more of that putty, sticky kind of texture on the eyes. It just is a little bit more difficult to work with. This one is ultra smooth. It almost has um, like the soft slip of like a liquid lipstick almost. It goes onto the lids and looks beautifully creamy. It still looks like a cream shadow. It doesn't set down to look really powdery, but I think what makes these really beautiful is that the texture on the eyes looks immaculate. Like again, it has that beautiful creamy look, but these last so long. I do not know how they did it. I always add a little bit to my crease if I want a more long wear eyeshadow look. There are plenty of cream eyeshadows that I absolutely love, but they will crease. Honestly, creasing isn't a huge deal to me, but, but sometimes I want my makeup to last longer and this is my quick fix, my hidden gem, all time favorite product to make any look last longer. I feel like it's a product that I will always repurchase revisit. But I would like to see more shades. Ulta, come out with more shades. This is another Ulta item. This is the Ulta Beauty Twisted Volume Mascara. It's the mascara I have on right now. So I actually did an entire review overview of like the best and the worst Ulta Beauty brand items. Obviously this is number one, but maybe like in the number two spot now, honestly, is this mascara. I really did not expect to love this as much as I do. It's just such a beautiful mascara. So I like it mainly for two reasons. The first reason is that I love the lifted, volumized look that I get with this mascara, but it never turns clumpy and it never turn, like it's never too much for me. I don't like a lot of chunky lashes like, like I do like a chunky lash it's just not what I'm going for on an everyday basis and I just feel like this mascara is so good at lengthening giving you um kind of like a soft volume as well and it really like pulls up the lashes when you put it onto them the brush is really good at doing that and the second reason I adore this mascara is because of the wand it has a dial on it and as you move it from one all the way up to four the wand twists and it actually creates a more volumized look as you count up. Obviously, mascara is an item that you need to throw away after a couple of months. And I love that this is a product that can give you multiple lash looks. So you don't need to open multiple mascaras to get a different look. You can use the number one setting for just like an everyday lengthened look, or you can go all the way up to four and get a lot of volume. I think that it's really cool. And honestly, for $10, it's just, for me, it's also a really really good bang for your buck it lasts really well I also don't use I don't even know if there's a waterproof version I'm gonna have to look into that but this one never irritates my eyes lasts really well and holds the curl really well for me too so this is a hidden gem that I think was popular maybe I don't know, maybe six years ago. So it's this cream shadow palette from Revlon. This is another Revlon item. It's the Revlon Illuminance Cream Shadows. I'm not positive if this is being discontinued. It can be a little bit more difficult to find now. I will try and link it down below, but this is a cream shadow palette. That in and of itself, I love. I love cream shadows, as a lot of you guys know, but usually they're sold in a single, so you have to use multiple shades to kind of play around. And I love that you have multiple shades in here to play around with. I will say I don't like this cream shade up top. I just don't like the way that it looks on my eyes, but but all three of these I absolutely love. I think that they look so refined. The color selection is so expensive looking. Like these tones remind me of something that Charlotte Tilbury would do. This shade up here has a little bit more of a soft kind of satin look. It reflects back light so beautifully and looks 
so creamy and healthy on the eyes. This shade is more of a matte shade, which is great. You can put it into the crease. They're really, really smooth. And if you're familiar with the Revlon Colorstay Cream Shadow Potted Formula, these are even more emollient. They don't last quite as long as the Colorstay shadows do, but if you want more creaminess, you want more like light reflection. I think that these are really beautiful for that. And then also you have this deeper brown shade at the bottom that is just rich with pigment. There's a little bit of like a taupey sparkle in here. It's not even really a sparkle. It's just a touch of that shift that looks really it just looks really expensive. I love this palette. I think it's such a good bang for your buck. It's really affordable. And because it has a mirror in here, I feel like it's so easy to just like stick your fingers into the palette, apply any of these really as like a one and done shadow and then be out the door. Such a beautiful, like natural makeup staple that I don't think enough people talk about. And lastly, we have this spray from Physicians Formula. This is now my second bottle of it. I found it back in, I believe, April. This is now like a holy grail item for me. So it's from Physicians Formula. It is the Essence of Healthy Toner and Setting Spray. So I really think that there, like, there are so many setting sprays now at an affordable price. Like you can walk into the drugstore and you have so many options. And really quite a lot of them are just like, straight sparkle the nozzle is like all wonky and i feel like it just either doesn't do enough or it does like it does too much this will give your skin beautiful healthy hydrated looking radiance so it's not super super dewy it's almost just like a plumped kind of look to your skin with that touch of glow. It helps to make your skin look a little bit more refreshed. The mist on here is ultra, ultra fine. It comes in a glass bottle. Like this is very, such a luxurious feel to the product, but because of that plumped up hydrated look, it just really looks like your skin is doing really, really well. It makes all of your makeup kind of melt down into each other, similar to like a Mac Fix Plus kind of look, but I prefer this to something like MAC Fix Plus for the simple reason that this is actually 95% Galactomyces Filtrate Ferment. I've personally found that it is excellent if you have more dry skin, if you want brighter looking skin, if you deal with like redness. I love that this is like a skincare product that actually looks good within a makeup routine. I actually have been wanting to do a video on like the best makeup skincare hybrid products. Let me know if you guys are interested in that or if that's like too niche, but I absolutely love this one for the look that it gives my skin, but I love that I can use this like before makeup as a prep just to give my skin that hydration and it's actually doing good for my skin. Like I find that my skin is really happy when I'm incorporating this into my makeup routine. Again, ultra, ultra fine mist here. Let me show you. So my skin, like healthy looking, I applied a little bit already, but let me show you like the look that it gives, even though I'm sure I already showed you a demo before. How it's not like an intense, greasy looking radiance. It's very soft. It almost just adds a touch of that lit from within, like just plumped up look. I love it. This is my second bottle and I'm like almost out. So I need to repurchase this one. Again, let me know down below if you guys have tried this Undone Beauty cheek palette. I want to pick up another shade just again, because I think they're absolutely beautiful. And I want to pick up another one of these, I think as well. I'd love to see what other um, interesting tones they have. And honestly, I kind of want to pick up another one of these Flower Beauty lip masks, just because I know, you know, going into fall, I want to get ahead of my lip health. Just like the most comforting lip product. I'm sure some of you guys can relate to this, that feeling of like, I just want to take off my bra immediately when I come home. I have that feeling with some makeup products. Like there are some items that are just not comfortable on my skin. And so when, like the minute that I can take them off when I'm home, I do. This is one of those makeup products that I would never like want to take off because of that. Like it's so 
comforting, I would rather like reapply than take it off. Does that make sense? I feel like some lip products, I'm just like, I get to a certain point where I'm like, no more lip products everything off but anyway i hope that you guys enjoyed today's video if you did definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up and thank you as always for watching i know i say thank you for watching in every video but i really do appreciate it like thank you for being here and i will hopefully see you all in my next one